about it on July the 6th. That's what I, I always refer to as D plus 30. They counted the number of days after D-Day. The British and Canadian role was to try to break through to Falaise, uh, southeast of Caen, then to turn left at that point and make for the Seine River. We were going in the direction of Rouen. Uh, American forces were coming around. Those who didn't go toward the Sherbrooke Peninsula were coming out in a left hook under Patton, who became so famous, uh, who was leading the American armored, uh, armored uh, forces. They came on with a, a left hook and tried to meet the British and the Canadians at Falaise. And the, the notion was to trap, entrap all of the German 7th Army, that was the, the army, the 7th Army, uh, and, and trap it in Normandy and not allow them to break out. So there was a terrible uproar around Falaise when the Germans tried to fight their way out of the uh, encirclement. Were you part of that? Yes. We were, um, let's see, the 3rd Division was ahead of us. They reached Falaise first and we were, uh, we were just behind them. Um, but m most of the, the slaughter and whatever went, had, had already gone on. So when we rode in, I was a, I was a dispatch rider, meaning uh, motorcycles, and I, I rode a, uh, my motorcycle into it. But they hadn't cleared the roads yet. Uh, bulldozers were just being brought up to clear the German wreckage, tanks and trucks and whatnot, off the roads. There had been no burial. Bodies were everywhere. And this was a hot July, August, Had early you August seen dead sun. people before stench, prior to that? The stench. No, was that your first encounter with seeing dead bodies? No, no. We had been in action southeast of Caen. We lost most of the regiment on the 25th of July in, in an attempt to uh, uh, Are we reach high ground southeast of Caen. Yeah. There I really thought I wasn't going to come out of it. Up to that point, uh, it was still the scenario that I speak of, in an attack on Hill 67, which occurred two or three days before, uh, I just didn't, as I realized, I didn't believe I was actually in, in, in a war. I remember crying out to friends and joyfully as though, you know, someone had said uh, uh, camera's action or something, uh, and uh, walked up the slope. Uh, we knew that uh, mortar bombs were falling around us. We saw them. It was an unreal sense. Uh, I don't think I ever really experienced the reality till I saw the dead on the top of this hill. It was just given a number called Hill 67. And I saw the Canadian patches, the, these are blue uh, rec, uh, square patches of the 2nd Division. And even though I didn't know them personally, they were from the Essex Scottish, who were badly uh, uh, attacked there. Um, they were lying on the ground, just as if they were asleep. And, but I realized, yes, there's something terrible here. This, I don't think I thought in quite these terms, but I, this, this is real. I mean, this is not a, not a movie. They were dead.